Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can create a Facebook page using the new Facebook layout that they released in 2020. Now, of course, if you're not using this new layout and you're actually using uh, basically the classic Facebook layout, I have a pre-existing video actually on my channel. I'll link to it in the description below that shows you how to do this on the old classic interface. So, But uh, it's actually incredibly easy and much quicker now on this new interface to do it. So uh, we'll get straight into it. So this is a, it's a little account I use, not my full personal account. Um, so some things may be blurred out as we work here, but basically when you're logged in at the top here, there's a plus button. And basically that's there for you to create just about anything in Facebook. So if I click on that, I can create a post or a story. Uh, and you can see here page or an ad group, whatever. So it's pretty easy to create just about anything on Facebook using this plus button. But basically I'm gonna get into it and click on this page section here. And you see, we basically have a little page preview here on the right with information on the left. So it's actually pretty straightforward. For example, I can give it a page name. We can just call it super page or something like that. Super page for, you know, uh, what do we call it? Gamers. I'm not a gamer, so this is probably going to sound a bit stupid. But under category, maybe we're talking something like gaming, gaming video creator. Uh, maybe we can say education website um, you can just search up uh, gamer yeah and you can add uh, I think it's up to three categories yep three categories and basically it's pretty simple and they make it very very sort of non-complex and they simplified a lot about pages which is really um, a good move I think on Facebook's part so we've got our name categories and description say we talk all things games at least on the PlayStation 4, whatever. I'm not up to date with the console, so you can have a good laugh if I've got anything wrong here. Uh, like our page for tips and videos. So nice and simple. So you've got this, you've got your page name, your category and your description, and you click create page. Okay, it says here you're gonna super page for games was created. You can now add images or go to your page to add more details. So I don't know why it's coming up with with that highlight in red, but that doesn't matter. So your page is you basically created a page. It's basically good to go now. So what I can do now is start adding images. So there'd be a cover image here for this large image and then a profile picture for this circular image here. So all I need to do is basically click add profile picture. And I've got a couple of pictures ready here. So I'm gonna choose, now if you can get a perfectly square image, that's gonna be better. But for the sake of this video, I don't mind this being a little bit different. And this is a pretty big image, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to upload. Uh, I've just sort of uh, dug it up. So you see we've got our profile image there, which is pretty cool, pretty easy. And uh, now we're gonna add a cover photo. Now this cover photo is actually, if I zoom in a little bit for you, you'll see it's actually a uh, template I've created that you can edit in Photoshop. And if you're looking to download that so you can edit this template, which retains the effects, uh, the text, all that, uh, just check out the link in the description for that because it's a free template you can download and edit in Photoshop. So, but basically we've got our page and we've got a couple of images and that's pretty much the bulk superficial part of the page done. So you can see here we've got our image and we can also preview up here between desktop and phone. Now one thing you'll notice between desktop and phone is, well actually the phone's looking a little bit different, but on the app quite often the image is actually taller. So it isn't showing here, but uh, on the app the image can be taller, which is another thing I've actually input into this um, template, the downloadable template, is the images are actually taller and designed to be, and designed to be cropped. But um, anyway, moving on, we click save over here when we're done. And this is our page ready to go. So and we've got a few little things. For some reason, this hand isn't showing up like it should. Um, so we've got a bit of a funny, funny problem going on there. But uh, I'm sure if I refresh, we can see it's centered here, but not there. But anyway, that's just a bug with Facebook. Another reason to actually create a perfectly square image 
design because then it's not going to move on you. So definitely, definitely it's worth looking at that when you are setting up your page. All right, so the next thing you want to do is make sure you don't leave it too, basically too thin. So what I want to do is actually start adding information onto the page. So on the left here, if I come down to edit page info, I'm going to click on that. Okay, now we have our page information. And you see the information we've entered before is already there. Um, if you have, I'm not sure exactly how many you need, but there is a minimum before you can actually add a username. You can see here, I've got no likes. So if I try to add a username, a username it comes up with a, an error saying I'm not eligible. So I think it used to be about 25 or possibly even 50, but uh, you might just wanna come back and check that as your fan base grows. So you need to get a few likes before you can actually do that. Now, I'm not gonna really go through and do all this, but you can add a phone number if you have business as a number. You can add in uh, an email address and a website. For now, I'm gonna tick that my page doesn't have any of these, although I can actually put in my actual website. So I will do that just for now. We'll leave that. Now, if you want to add in an address, you can do that and then set up the map. You can drag the map around to position your address. Obviously, I don't know where it is at the moment because I haven't put in an address. But uh, you can actually leave the address blank like I have and tick that. Or you can put in an address. So that way, if you've got a, an actual shop or anything that people come and visit, you can have that in there. Although you do have to tick this. Otherwise, you can't have the address and simply leave this unticked and people won't be able to see the address. Now, something worth noting is under here, uh, you can have, uh, obviously, does your page have a physical location customers can visit? You just want to go through and answer that. Does your page travel to its customers? So this is important if you're mobile. If you're going to people, you can actually click yes or no. And also, if you're selling online, you can click yes or no here. So if I click yes on this and I say no, no, and my page doesn't have a location, I can leave it at that. Now, service area. So maybe I want to put in um, Australia. So maybe I'll say oh, Penrith. Then maybe I might even say Brisbane because I live in Australia. So let's, let's say we're serving these two areas for whatever reason. So if you are a locally based business, you can put that in there. If not, you can simply remove it. It's pretty straightforward. You get in the page. If you have hours, you want to put those in there, like open on selected hours and add those hours in there. Otherwise, you can just say you're always open or that there are no hours available. And finally, if you do have a privacy policy on your website, grab a link and pop that on there. And uh, that's pretty much it. It will save it as you go, so you do not have to go and save that um, as you were edit editing it, which is pretty cool. Now, a few other areas I want to touch on as well in here is, uh, for one, if I do go back home. Now, one thing we want to do, just go... So we're back here, page settings, page settings down the bottom. There's a few areas here we want to edit. Obviously, we've been to page info. Under messaging, you can't set up things like your autoresponders and things like that. Uh, but under page roles is an area you want to go to. If I click on page roles, now it might be just you running the page. But if I wanted to actually add someone, say it's always good to have a second person there. I was always think it's good in case my uh, profile gets shut down. I don't know if this has ever happened to anyone else, but I have heard from people who have had their profiles, their personal profile shut down that their pages have disappeared with it. I don't know if that's true, but if you have a, someone else you trust, maybe you got a wife or someone like that, you can go in and uh, click admin and then type in their name on Facebook or their email and actually choose to add them as an admin. Uh, so that's something you can do. You can also add community managers, people who moderate comments, things like that. So you can add in page roles here and even remove people if you want to uh, under page roles here. So that's by going to the left menu under settings, under page roles, and this is where you can basically add and subtract people from you know what it is you're doing. All right, so, and there is another section that we wanna go into which is, um, templates and tabs here. So if you have tabs that you want to move around, so basically there's a current template, which is a video page. If I edit this, I can choose a different template, something that's laid out sort of better to my preferences. Uh, so there is something you can basically go through and apply a template. So you can pick a template, you can turn events off if you want to, leave reviews on or turn them off. 
you can move things up and down. So let's say you really want to showcase your photos. You can put the photos right up at the top. I think possibly even above posts. So yeah, you can put photos right at the top if you want to. You're about, so you can reorder things and add things in and out as you please under templates and tabs as well. So that way you can see I've got home, posts, photos and about. Now if I go back to the page um, and I refresh, home, photos, about, you get the idea. So it's pretty it's pretty handy and um, yeah, you basically you want to set up those few areas in order to just sort of maximize your page a little bit. Now, the other thing that I like to do is if you're going to have a Facebook page, most people starting Facebook pages are generally trying to grow something else. No one's really creating a Facebook page just because they want to run a Facebook page. So adding a button as a call to action is another powerful uh, step you can take. So I'm going to click add a button. And you can see you've got so many options here. Um, like or learn more, contact us, sign up. So let's say you have, uh, for instance, we play a game, uh, watch a video, so you can actually pop a link to a YouTube video or something if you want to. But one thing I like to do is if I'm trying to grow an email list or something like that for my business, I'll actually go to sign up and I'll op it, pop in the web address there. So maybe it's the same website I added before. I can add a little link to my newsletter there. And the button has now been added and that's basically it. I now have a button on the page. If I want to, I can view it as a visitor to see how it looks. So you can see now people can sign up. They've got my web address here, a bit of information and um, the page is good to go. Okay, so if you're happy with that and you're good to go, what I do recommend doing is at least creating one or two posts or even up to three posts. So I just create a quick post here by clicking create post. Say hi, we are on Facebook. Maybe share something a little bit more useful than that, but for the sake of this uh, video, that'll do. But introduce yourself, maybe talk about what you're going to offer, or even just start putting up the, inf sort, the kind of information that you want to put up on this page. Now, of course, you can add a photo or a video, um, you know, feelings, that sort of thing. Any of these little bits and pieces you can add on there as well. Generally, photos and video do really well, so it's good to add those into there, but uh, we're happy with that. We're gonna click post. Now we have our first post up. We have a couple of the images there. And um, yeah, now we're ready to go. So what we wanna do now is actually start inviting people to our page. So I'm pretty sure, yep, if we click on these three, three little dots here, we can go to invite friends. And then we can scroll through, we can select all and just select everyone, or we can tick individual people and send invites. So if I tick this person here, I can send her an invite to like my page and even put a little personalized message there. So you do wanna to try to get some traction nice and early. And if you're inviting friends and they know that you're the person who runs the page, you're more likely to get engagement. So it does depend on personal preference though, but I would recommend inviting a bunch of friends saying, hey, check out my page and then really engaging them like you would your friends on Facebook anyway, because that engagement will grow and the community will grow more organically that way as well. And you can also click here to tick and send each invite in Messenger. So that's pretty cool. Being a dummy page, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just X out of that. Another thing you can do, going to your three dots here, is click share. Create a post so I can share this to my personal uh, profile as well. So that's another way I can promote it. So if you're looking to grow your page and you've made it, I would recommend at least putting, like I said, a couple of posts up, invite your friends, share it on your main profile and let it go from there. So. And now you've got a Facebook page. Hopefully you'll have people liking it over the course of the next couple of days and you'll be ready to roll. So I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, I do have more coming. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I do have a video that shows you how to create a Facebook header image in Photoshop. I also have another one showing you how to do it in Canva. I will link those up down below. The Canva one is a little bit older, but um, it, uh, it doesn't show the extended size like it does the Photoshop video, but I am looking to upgrade that video so um, check that out below i will update that link when i do otherwise um yeah got more videos to come on running a facebook page growing a facebook page so hit that like button if you like the video please subscribe if you want more and if you have any questions please leave a comment so uh thanks for watching and i'll see you next time